Hey peeps, it's Tanwen. Welcome back to another episode of Vampire. So we've met the royalty of vampires and now we are ready to... Oh, I just noticed, I don't think I'm recording the audio of the... Uh, there we go, now we should start recording. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, who are you? Oh, you're the, um, the guy. Okay, so we're meant to question citizens about the infection. So let's hey, have a look. Are you alright? Well, I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. I'm Let's investigating ask. the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. If you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the, the Malanies. Yes? Malanies. What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. Very sus. What is going on in there? I wonder. Mm, okay. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Excuse the sweaty, sweaty face, by the way. It is hot today. So I'm recording this on the hottest day of the year of all time actually in UK I think they said let's ask good you evening, darling and good evening to you dr. Reed I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district have you noticed anything unusual recently a few days ago I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's <sighs> house again okay Awful smell no answer when I knocked where is it it's the Mullaney's a nice family. Malane is again in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Sean. Okay. Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother. She's been. She did. You probably see her before me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, we've got five thousand XP. We should probably go and evolve. Oh, hold on. We should. There's resources of injection. Okay. I think we'll go to sleep first. Is there anyone who we need to cure? A great night. What? A what? <laughs> I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand. Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where mm. do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Okay, thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. Uh, I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. I just realized that maybe I said that I'm gonna go and heal a couple of people. Yep, I did. Oh well, pips. I am gonna quickly go and do that. Hmm, shall we go and do that quickly? Yeah. I think I can also unlock this location, which will allow me to, like, zoo, zoo. In between the um all unite. unite yes girl you say it uh finest quality Ooh. oh have i opened that or can i not no i can't open it from this side okay oh why did it get so quiet here oh fuck. <laughs> that's why Ow. So big new guys, big new, big news. <laughs> I need to remember how to speak English while playing. Uh, big news, I uh, launched a Patreon. If any of you have got the resources and fancy supporting me on this amazing journey uh, through YouTube and creating uh, a community, please go and check it out. It's down in the description. And uh, I also, as a part of becoming a Patreon, a patron Patreon, uh, you will be, you will have access to my Discord where I post updates, kind of a social update of, from my life. I don't particularly like doing it in public, and therefore I decided to to only do it as a part of the family, uh, so to speak. Fantastic. We're now here, so we need to go and cure. I can't believe she's dead. Okay. Uh, Richard near the court and Petresco. Um, Camellia. I think. 
Weren't they like over and around here? Well, let's just go forward. Who are you? Ben Palmer. Is no match for the cordial. That's... That's Petrescu. Good evening, Mr. Petrescu. Surely you have someone else to bother, Mr. Doctor. <laughs> Sorry. How do you feel, Mr. Petrescu? Do you need oh, help? Else? I would not even accept fresh water from you, Doctor. I don't need your help. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> exactly the same. You will feel better. I said I don't want anything. But I'll keep this for those who really need it. Okay. Goodbye. Is that now showing him as uh, as recovering, or is he being a stubborn bastard? No, he is recovering fine. I need to find Richard Nethercourt. Richard Nethercourt, where are you? I... He's got a cold as well. We have got a cure for cold, don't we? Let me just have a quick look. Uh, is it that sepsis cold? Yes, we do. Fine. Um, oh, Richard! Richard, dearest! That's Barrett. He was in the. He was in the um, cemetery, wasn't he? Oh, bit not in the cemetery, but like behind the church around here. I think. And we haven't seen Camellia in a while. But don't. Yep, I said, I said that just to she appeared. <laughs> right, there you are. Good evening, Mr. Nethercott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Do no, but I can help. Attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. It's okay. I understand your I forgot to mute my phone. And macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But oh, I, I know, I know, my darling. Uh, there we go. Right, we can now go back uh, to this way, and let's go into the hideout near where we need to go investigate anyway. This way, the district shouldn't dip into critical. Because I worry, because I got rid of Crane, unfortunately, uh, I worry that all it takes is a little bit of, uh, a little teeny tiny push, and the district is going to be like, poof, gone. So I, I would like to avoid that. I don't want to lose any districts, really, if I can help it. Cheap price, good quality. Good quality. Cut again. Oh, I also have got a new light on my monitor, which is really cute. It's really uh, easy. It just pins to my monitor and uh, it shines brightly. Uh, I think it works. I think I think it covers, no, uncovers all of my blemishes and stuff that I can't cover with makeup. So you're welcome, guys. Right, nicely done. Wait, what was that? Did I see a chest? No. I spy with my little eye, nothing. Okay, so. Oh, blah. Oh, sod it. Let's go and sleep. Where was the hideout? Uh, I went past it. Well, almost. I was meant to go this way. And this way? What the hell? Who was that? It's a Kimura. There he is. Okay, <gasps> Jesus, Maria. Jesus yeah. Fucking Christ. Oh my lord. Ow. Oh my god, he's at me. Could you not? Ow. 
There we go. For a second I thought he was gonna be faster than me and uh and managed to kill me. Ah. Fuck. You alright, dude? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need help, sir? I think I'm fine. But what happened to my jailer? Be careful. He's as vicious as he is strong. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What happened here? I am Tadao Kimura. Tadao Kimura. I was imprisoned by this lunatic for several days. Oh, bless you. I thought I was going to die here. You're not going to die now, Mr. Kimura. If you hurry, you should be able to get home safely. It seems that I owe you my life. You have all my gratitude, Dr. Reed, since it is the most precious thing I possess. Gratitude Goodbye, accepted. Kimura. Take care. I shall have a look around. The heresy of the pure blood. Pure blood. We know the expression. We hear. Uh, we heard it. We heard it in the foul mouth of the heretics and foreign bar barbarians. Used it sometimes ourselves. But do we really know what it means? A vampire born from an immortal belly. What a disgusting idea. How would such a creature find its place among the livings? What would be its purpose? Ours is clear, gentlemen. Ascalon is here to protect the Empire and all its citizens. We are the protectors and shepherds, even when sometimes sacrifice a sheep for our sustenance. Oh. Whoever will be found guilty of succumbing to the desire of breeding immortal child shall be eradicated from the law of Ascalon. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a portion and a half. Shillings! Anything else in here? Oh, there is a chest with a ring and there's a cabinet. Nice! Alright, well, let's get out of here. Hoppa! Where's his body? Disappeared. Alright, where was I gonna go for my shelter? Oh, it's here and to the right. Oh, you! You're disgusting. Ooh, you're gonna explode. You did at least damage you? No, not really. Oh, I am lacking stamina. Stamina. Jesus Christ. I also have been forgetting to move my <laughs> move my camera. <laughs> I started recording my camera separately so that I can move it for boss fights and stuff and when like to show you when I when my health is low and when I'm panicking and stuff and then I forget to move it. So yeah, just slap my wrist next time. Just tell me tell me off. Taman, you forgot to move your camera. Just say it in the comments. Uh, okay, where are my flapjacks? Where is this hideout? Am I blind? Quite possibly. Or is it over there? What? Ah! Uh, I can't see it. Is it in one of the houses? What's this? Quarantine. Oh, oh, I see. Now I see. New hideout unlocked. Oh, it was nice of it to... Whoa, this is luxurious and a half. Wow. Reveal. What this? Oh, hi. Who are you? Apparently I can spy on you. Although I don't know from which side. I think it's from that side. Hold on, let me go out. Hold on. Stay there. Don't do anything. Don't do your speech yet. I'm gonna spy on you. No? Nope. Damn it. I missed it, didn't I? It's locked, alright. It's locked, alright. Well, who are you? And can I talk to you now? 
Who are you? Let me just loot this. Hi. Mother. Good evening. Jonah. It's our mother. Is it you? Where have you been, my prodigal son? I'm right here, mother. I'm finally home. Yes, for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost. Oh my and God! Now found. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary. She. No. She is gone, mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. It's been days since their last visit. Oh, Mom. Do you need my medical attention, Mother? I'm all right, son. Don't worry about me. Have you returned to Whitechapel Cemetery since Mary's funeral? I never want to go back to that awful place. Wait. I think Just I remember went back once. And you were there too. And Mary? No. That can't be true. It was just a bad dream, mother. A nightmare, yes. Mary was so angry. I walked back home alone. If that kind policeman had not called Avery from the station, I don't know what would have happened. Mother. Do you know what's been going on? Mom! Not really. I don't go out much due to the epidemic, and when I do, I tend to get lost. What do you mean you get lost? I hope you don't go outside alone. Of course not. When I go out, your father always comes with me, but he leaves me there sometimes, and I have trouble finding the way back. Okay. Do you need anything, Mother? Can I help you? I just want you to stay with me, Jonathan. Your room is ready. Oh, I asked Mom. Avery to make your bed. I'll stay as long as I can, I promise. Oh. Do you need anything Mama. else? Mama! Just one thing. Stop staring at me like that. As much as I love you, it breaks my heart to look at those empty and dead eyes. Sorry. Are you working on a new painting? Not recently. I have trouble focusing on my subject and my mind quickly drifts. It's the same thing when I try to write poetry. I recently met a talented painter with an excellent technique. I wish you two could meet. I'm sure you'd like her. I'd be glad to meet her. What is her name? Is she famous? Is she dead too? So she's, she's aware. And her name is of no importance. And yes, she is also dead. The important thing is, I hope you two get along. If she ever fancies meeting your mother, I'd be glad to welcome her into my heart. Oh, melting. You say Mary visits you? Why do you say Mary is visiting you, mother? You know that's impossible. Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Why should it be any different with your sister? Oh my god, don't tell her she survived. But Mary really is dead, Mother. Yes. And are you not dead too? Isn't your father dead? And my grandson and my son-in-law, you're all gone. But you all still visit me from time to time. She's got dementia. <laughs> Goodbye, Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. So she is aware that we are just her imagination. It's locked. It's locked. I think there was someone downstairs. Married. Let's go and speak to um I take it this is the helper. Seven? What do we oh old letter? My dear Avery, Avery, that's his name. As I already told you several days ago, days ago, I may be forced to leave England, if only for a few months, while I'm away and until my son comes back to London, I want you to take the best care of our house. I already made the entire necessary arrangements to have your wages increased and paid as long as you'll work. 
You promised me you'd protect my dear wife and serve her to the best of your ability. For that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart, if I am never to return, you are the only man I fully trust. Believe me, your most affectionate friend, Aubrey Reed. Oh, interesting. It has been paid to take care. Okay. The deep, uh, mm, okay, we're discovering lots and lots of people. Oh, I can't go there. Okay, let's go there. Oh, we can go there or there. Or there. Avery. Oh, gosh, this is a house and a half. Hi, can I speak to you? Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan, I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, it's a miracle. We all thought you were... Oh, sir, your poor sister. What a tragedy. I know, mm -hmm. Avery. I know about my sister's murder. Miss Reed expected you to return to assist with the funeral. Right up until the last minute. Where have you been, Mr. Jonathan? We needed you. <gasps> oh. I'm currently investigating sources of the epidemic in this part of town. Do you know anything useful? Not really. Except... All the McPherson's servants resigned a few days ago. They feared becoming infected, they said. The McPhersons? Where do they live? I think it's a rich house near the railway bridge. So there's the two the houses the being mentioned. Okay, let's ask you a few questions. Do also, do you need... Attention, Avery? Thank you, but I'm all right, sir. Okay. That is How good. Is my mother? Not well, I'm afraid, sir. Miss Reed is very fragile since the police brought her back home. The police? What That's happened? When Mary Miss Reed her mind. was found walking in the streets. She kept saying she had spoken with her son and daughter. She's resting now. Has she received appropriate <sighs> medical care? I'm taking care of Miss Reed myself. Hospitals are so overwhelmed by the epidemic that they can only accept patients infected by influenza. Okay. Perhaps we could arrange a short trip. Somewhere sunny, like France. She has always been very fond of France. I think leaving London could do her good. I'm afraid Miss Reed is too frail for the moment. Mm -hmm. Recently, she started going out at night without remembering it. I have to watch her carefully. Oh, bless your soul. What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seemed spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead, and I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. Fair enough. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir, but your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say mm. is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. I haven't got a tissue. Not crying yet. Yet! <laughs> okay. Tell Did you leave truth, if you could? Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house Fair is enough. dead. It's very honorable. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. Oh, bless your cotton socks. Mm. 
You serve this family excellently. You have served this family extremely well, Avery. Your support during these terrible times is much appreciated. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave. Understood. Please. Absolutely. Do you really think I don't take enough care of my mother, Avery? Yes, you haven't I been do, home. Mr. Jonathan. You clearly have something more to say. Speak your mind, Avery. I know you work hard to help the sick, but what will you do once the epidemic is over? My home is here. This is not my home anymore. I really don't know. I mean, it's hard because I don't think this is my home anymore. This is not my home. Anymore. Too many bad memories. Too many tragedies. I believe we should sell it and move far from here. I'm afraid selling the house would only lead to another tragedy. I beg you to reconsider your decision. Okay. Goodbye, Avery. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan. But please return as soon as possible. Oh, okay. We've got almost 6,000 XP. Let's, uh... I was wondering what the sad was. It's him cleaning. That's actually really adorable. <laughs> uh, oh, that leads out to the street. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So I can actually go out the normal way, not just sneak out. Um... Oh, can I go here? No, I can't. So it is just for spying on her. All right, let's have a look at our skills. Let's make ourselves a little bit stronger. <laughs> and um, maybe a bit more health. Yeah, health would probably be good. More health? Even more health? More... Endurance, bite, let's do claws. The claws are really, really good. Oh, oh, both. I didn't notice that it cost three, four and a half grand. Both. What about the ultimate? Can I? 2000. Yeah, let's. I'm sure there's a boss fight somewhere nearby. And I think I am going to get a bit more health because it is. Oh, wait, why Why did it stop? I thought I didn't have enough XP. 440. Is there anything for like 300? Big thirst. Increase your blood absorption when using by in combat. Not really. Not really. Uh, this is probably about, yeah, 2000. Okay, let's, uh, let's leave it as is. Nice. The following night. Right, he's cured. Oh no, the game just crashed. Oh dear. That hasn't happened yet. That's a first. Well, let's try and relaunch it. Oh dear. Interesting. I wonder what I did wrong. <laughs> mm. Hum, hum, hum. Interesting. <laughs> Family portraits. What was the last save? I'm scared. Well, let's see where it's going to throw us. How are you guys? How are you coping with the heat? I'm not. <laughs> the Reed's Mansion District State is healthy. Oh, I think it actually, yeah, 
it managed to save it just didn't give us the update interesting okay so it just crashed but it's yeah okay all right uh let's have a look at the status of the um of the districts so this one is healthy uh this one is still serious uh he's fatigued fatigued and cold so two fatigues one cold three fatigues one cold but we're healthy and cold 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 one two three four so there's five colds and three fatigues i think i got it right Hoppa! small key uh five colds and three fatigues let's make a couple extra uh Oh, fudge, we haven't got enough potassium permanganate or semanganate. Um, is there anywhere we can get it? Oh, there we go. Mm -mm. Cold. Cold. Was it five colds? And headaches. Let's recreate this and this. Let's see if we can. Is there anything we can improve on this one? No. Is there? Um, hmm, is there any way? Use dagger. Wait. Do we not have a use dagger? Well, apparently we don't. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, this is already a good dagger. Oh, I see. I see, so we can already choose some of these. Oh, hold on. Decrease stamina consumption by 10. Absorb alcohol uh, alcohol points? <laughs> That's wishful thinking there. <laughs> uh, let's go for this. Uh, decrease stamina consumption. Let's, do, let's go for blood. Uh, let's go for stamina again and for blood. Can I even... Ooh, I need five. Five tiny good handle parts. Okay. Uh, would it be worth starting to use this? So this is 12 blood absorption. 363 damage. Because I have enough to upgrade it. There's only six in the magazine. There's nine in the magazine. Shall we? An image, damage, image, damage. Let's try. It. Although I am so clumsy. I mean, if as long as there's no aiming, I should be all right. As soon as there's aiming, I am screwed. I am so clumsy when it comes to aiming. There's a reason why I don't white phosphorus. Where did I get white phosphorus from? There's a reason why I don't play um, shooting games. I just, there's no way. Ooh, rivets. Okay, so I only need two more. Uh, okay, so let's, um, there was a little bit of uh, upgrading going on. So let's give Jonathan a uh, change. Oh, can I not? How do I unequip you? I want to unequip you. Can I equip this one? Equip. I can't. <sighs> Jonathan. Jonathan, you gotta let me do it. Th th there we go. <laughs> Jonathan, what are you doing? <laughs> um, equip something uh, details. I want to unequip it. How do I unequip it? Change. Change is not doing anything. Will I equip your offhand weapon? Well, can I equip this? No, 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 no. Okay. Come on, Jonathan. Work with me here. Oh, there we go. Uh, equip. And, ooh, can I only equip, oh, balls, 
Can I get, can I have that? And just so that's uh wait, how do you do how do you how do I nope. Oops, I think I yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, I thought I could um, have a, this equipped. Why can't I? Is this offhand only? Yeah, offhand melee weapon. And this is ranged weapon. So how does this work? Uh, I can't unequip it. Okay, uh, can we... We can't. Hi mother. I'm not sure visiting Italy is a good idea this time of the year. Hmm. What was the small key from? Was it from here? I cannot enter. Mm, what is the smoky? Let's have a look uh, at a bag. Uh, smoky. Oh, the key to Aubrey Reed's office. Oh, well. Don't mind if I... Yes. Oh. Mother dearest. Are you gonna go and... Talk to Mary by any chance? Your father and I have spoken about your fiancé, Mary. We believe he'll be an honourable husband for you. We'll set a date for the marriage then. That way, I'm sure one of my children will give me grandchildren. Yeah, that's I dementia. Knowledge, Jonathan. And your father and I are proud of it. But you are not that young anymore, my son. When will I meet your soulmate? No. You can ascribe my romantic tendencies to my French origins if you want, Aubrey. But I'll never cease to believe in a match made in heaven, my beloved. Oh. I really wish you could meet her mother. You would oh, love that's her. That's just sad. You would. You would indeed. Right, let's go and have a look at uh, Avery's office. And then we are uh, down. Wait, did I, was it here? Yes. Oh. Reed Mansion, 4th April 1908. My dear and beloved John, when you receive this letter, you'll be 35 and you'll be long gone. I feel a little silly writing you this first letter that John, you won't read for. Bring me my glasses. I feel like reading. For a few years, I struggled for a long time about how best to write you this until I remembered the puzzle and the riddles I invented for you when you were a boy. Oh, how you loved to solve those enigmas. Well, I found it would be a good idea to propose to you one final game. It will probably be less rewarding. No candies or, or exotic treasures. I read erotic treasures for a second. For you, for you, if you decipher the game this time, for you, for you this, blah, blah, blah. but a greater treasure perhaps, the truth. This is my only attempt for you, for you to explain why I chose to leave my family without an explanation. If you want to know why, simply play my little game. It's really up to you, my son. 
rest assured that I love you. I promise my family was and still is everything to me. I remember the first time I held you and your sister in my arms, the treasures, my jewels. To see you grow up, play and laugh filled my heart with joy every time I went back to our home. I could have killed to protect you, my son, my daughter, my wife, but fate found me in the, de in the end and I had to make a tough decision. The worst was to disappear without a word. I decided to do it anyway and soon I'll be gone for good. I don't ask for forgiveness but for understanding. If you want to know more, all you have to do is remember how happy we were back in those days. If you want to find the next message, thin green grass and tall trees on sunny Sundays. From your affectionate father, old Bruce. I remember Sunday walks in the park. Okay. That would be an interesting one to follow. Oh, what was that? Oh, shillings. Right. Let's highlight. Let's actually let's highlight that one. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Uh, did we succeed already? There we go. Track. Oh, there's only four here. Okay. And let's go. Status helping. So anyone who we haven't met yet is Kaloon. Uh okay, so it's here. Alright, let's go to let's <laughs> let's go to this one first. Hoppa. Uh so that one. Right? Nope, wrong way. That one. I have to say the music in this district is uh gorgeous. Who are you? Oh, you're Kimura. Do you need your healthy? Okay. You can clearly tell that this is the wealthy part. Oh, this is now this has now been unlocked. Nice, very very nice. Wait, where is this? Oh, it says there, but I think we need to go there from the other side. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Bin. Might as well uh, loot it. So we'll go to the right uh, as soon as we can, basically. You get them, girl. And now to the right again. Oh, wait, I still can't unlock it. Could this be what I'm looking for? Yeah. So, okay, so we can get there through this alleyway. I suspect there's gonna be some complications. Yep. Oh God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, what do I have equipped? Why do I have equipped the the really lame weapon? Oh fuck it, I left it like Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh my god, I'm barely taking anything from them. Look. Jesus Christ. Oh wait, can I even can I escape you guys? Can I like uh skadoodle out of here? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna run a little bit. Okay, they returned. Oh my god, that was a little bit of a cheating. But look what I did. Yeah, I left it. Look. Oh, Tanwen, you silly sausage. Right. right. Let's go back now. There we go. Oh, right, we're diseased. We're diseased. Ow! There we are. I was wondering why they were so tough. I was like, okay, I can see that they're a level like 20 something rather. But come on, I defeated worse, haven't I? Okay. 
quarantine. Ooh, that is not a good sound. Wait, how am I meant to get here? Oh, I see. I see. Oh, this looks dangerous. I'm scared. Come on, come on. Someone come and hold my hand. Hand, hands, something or other. What is this? Okay, that's the balcony. Oh, it all formed doesn't scale. So I thought, I genuinely thought that the voice of um, when Nurse Crane got turned, that it was still her voice. Uh, it was still the voice actress uh, of the of the nurse. But now I'm thinking maybe it was just the um, the way the, the 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 way she was like turned into the scowl. Where where am I meant to go? I'm sorry, I keep going in and out. There's no stairs here, is there? So I presume I need to go down to them and defeat them, right? Okay. What the fuck, dudes? Where are you guys coming from? Oh my lord. Ow! Don't kill me, please, dude. Please, please, please. Oh my god. Fuck it, hell. I need some blood. Is she still sizzling? She hit it. Uh, is there anything? Uh, cleanse the second source of in infection. Oh. Oh, I see. Priscilla McPherson. Oh, they're arguing about who cheated, who hasn't. What's that? Oh, <gasps> pump action shotgun. Oh my god. Yes, please. Can I just equip it? Um, change. I still can't. Equip. So what if I use like uh, a one-handed? Uh... I need to, I'll go back to my bench and try and, um, try and upgrade a one-handed weapon that will, uh, that I can combine with a, where am I meant to go? I don't know. Upstairs? Oh, maybe. Uh, that I can combine with one of the guns. Oh, Roger. Roger, Roger. Um... Oh fuck, there's two of you. Wait, you were talking, weren't you? I thought you guys were... <gasps> I may die. I may die. I really, really may die. Unless I heal now. Okay, I heal. I heal. We can do this. I just need to avoid those pups of. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, you asshole. Oh, fuck it, eh? Keep your stamina up, keep your stamina up, Tanwin. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> Gosh damn it! <laughs> oh my god, my clumsiness knows no bounds. Seriously, oh fuck. Oh Jesus. Christmas! Those bites hurt, man. I'm gonna kill you! There we go, he's dead. Now it's just her. Come at me! Come at me, bro! Bro, sister. Oh, oh. 
Jesus Christ. Let's try and get away from the plume of smoke. There we go. Oh! Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? Where does it come from, though? Like, where, where did it, where did this all come from? Who was the first infector, darling? Thank you for the precious perfume and the fur coat. Um, excuse me. I can't wait to feel your hands on my shivering skin. For only you, my hero, can make me feel that desired. Please come back to me soon, for I'm dying to press my timid bosom to your chest again. Yes, my beloved, my precious, come back to me. And I promise you a night of eternal and unbridled passion. Right now, I'm wearing nothing but your last gift. Oh yes, I'm burning for you. And I can't wait for you to share my untamable lust, your devoted Doris Fletcher. This is how sexting worked in the, in the so 1900s. Ah, okay, all right. So is she still infected then? Okay. Alrighty, that's all looted. Okay, so one has been cleansed. These bloody markers. I am now pretty sure, by the way, that some of them appear on their own. That it's not just me being clumsy. Like, don't get me wrong, I'll put my hands up, I am clumsy as fuck, but I think some of them are appearing on their own. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Please let me know. I'll be glad to be corrected. The door has been unlocked. Fantastic. Any animes here? Oh my lord, that was actually quite tough. Uh, which way are we going? Uh, okay, so we need to go around. So, straight ahead? Yeah, straight ahead and right. Unless we want to go and uh, have a look at how... Oh, 50 minutes, okay. Who are you? Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. Well, I'm meant to... mean to uh, pretend like I'm leaving. Ow! You are You are almost dead. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, anything, any, any indication of what you guys were doing here? Uh, was I meant to go this way? I am meant to go this way, so yes, actually. Nyos, nyos, nyos. Enemies? Jonathan, why do you do that? Oh, there are enemies, though. <laughs> but still, Jonathan, you spook at me. Alright, well, health is almost back up to max, so it's something. Which way? Straight ahead? No. That's for the side quest. We'll do that one in the next one. We've been recording for almost an hour now. I don't want to keep the episode too long. How do we get up there? I see, I see. Oh dear, this does not look good. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Was it the what the the um, what's her face? Thick ridge blood sample. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, was it the wife of uh, that that got cheated? Um, me and names again as a revenge. I to, yeah, I forgot to loot this. Oh, this is these houses. I have to say. 
the developers and everyone, they've done a wonderful job in uh, portraying the difference between the rich London and the poor London. Uh, yeah, well done. Whoop, there's a room that I forgot. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. Gosh. This, if this was a vampire, there was a very, very vindictive vampire. Okay. We're getting some goodies. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. I'm scared. I am actually scared. Another boss fight? Bring it on. Who is that? Let me loot first. Who are you? Elsa. No, I was just pretending. Doris told me I could have been a great actress. You killed your family. They mocked my talent. What the actress? Yeah! Was a good shot not to drink. Woo! You are a disgusting girl. I'm not sure if biting you is a good idea, to be quite honest with you. You're gonna do a vomit, yeah? Your eyes are cool. Look at that, look at those ow. Look at those eyes. Woohoo! Always forget, always forget. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. Is there anything out of you that I can loot? Oh. Dear Elsa, the, with, it's with the greatest joy, greatest, uh, greatest joy, greatest joy that I confirm this, with this letter, your acceptance as a private student to my acting school. The little scene you had the kindness, excuse me, to perform for me last week convinced me that you have what it takes to be a real actress, wit, stature and courage. As a private student, you'll receive my personal training and coaching. During these intense sessions, you'll be invited to stay at the school since I strongly believe in total immersion to expose, to expose the full, full potential of my students. So please remember to bring night attire and anything you may need to spend the week at my school. Yours sincerely, Doris Fletcher. Interesting. So, uh, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. Yeah. Why do I have a funny feeling that Doris Fletcher is also some kind of a monster? Is this it? Oh, large beast. Where are you? You're over there. What are you doing there? Probably outside. Okay, so we can't. Seems to be the missing link here. Exactly. Just be a coincidence. Yeah, I locate Doris Fletcher's theatre. Okay, the door has been unlocked. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one here. We've got loads done. I I may go and have a look at the... Uh, no, I actually wanna do it with you guys because this concerns Jonathan directly. Uh, the, the, yeah, like I said in the previous one, the, pre the most of the side quests were a bit like, oh, run there, run there. Do we have, ooh, Lady Ashbury new dialogue available? That's something that we can do next time as well. So what we're going to do next time is we're going to have a look at the journey to the past. We're going to speak to Lady Ashbury, uh, probably sleep because we've got 3.5k um, XP again. And probably what I'll do in my spare time is I'll cure everyone because that's a bit of a running around and da 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 da, I'll locate that one, give him a cure, give him a cure, give him a cure, blah 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 blah, blah. just so that we don't lose any of our districts. Uh, I want to keep them all in a healthy range. I obviously know Whitechapel. 
I, I want to dip it at least into stable. I wonder if I can. Uh, so we'll see. I, I might do it in my own time. And then obviously when I start the next episode, I'll, uh, I'll sleep so that we can, we can see what, uh, what the consequences are. And uh, please subscribe. Like I said earlier in the video, um, I am on Patreon now. If anyone has the resources, sorry, ghost just started moving. <laughs> if anyone has the resources and uh, would like to join the community that I'm trying to build, and uh, it's yeah, I'm really excited about this. This is something new. I've been thinking about doing YouTube and Let's Plays and this kind of community for years, and I feel like I'm ready now. So come join me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!